guys, meet me again with Andre from IndoEyes.com. The journey of Indonesian food in America, we're expanding more in West Coast area. And today, we're going to one of Indonesian restaurants called Indo Cafe. I heard they have a really nice meal over there, and I'm excited to check it out for you guys. Alright, let's see what's going on right there. Let's do it. Alright guys, now we are already at Indo Cafe and next to me we have the owner and also the, the chef, the executive chef. Would you introduce yourself? What's your name? Oh, my name is Maria. Maria. Sandayani. Nice. I'm uh, originally from Surabaya. Nice, okay. Lovely. So um, Maria, tell me a little bit about your business right here. Tell me uh, about Indo Cafe. Uh, when this uh, establishment started? Okay, uh, we started on uh, September 1st, mm -hmm. 2011. 2011, yes. okay. Uh, this, that's the first opening, the soft opening. Mm -hmm. But we signed the contract is on June 2011, so now it's about a little bit over four years. Lovely, okay, yeah. that's great. Um, how this idea came up, you know? I've been wanting to own my own business Okay. and uh, I've been in the United States since 1985 mm -hmm. and I always cook for my uh, family occasions such as birthdays, okay. my kids right, right. and uh, everybody loves my cooking Nice. and uh, moving along I work for financial industries mm -hmm. uh, in in the U.S. and okay. here, in, actually in Saratoga, in okay. San Jose. Nice. And, and moving along and uh, to retail, so I have so many different experience okay. in banking, retails. Also, I also work for uh, as a cake decorator at Costco and Ralph supermarket before mm -hmm. when All I right. first came to U.S. Okay. Um, so this is not like something new for you in, in Korea? Uh, yeah, it's not something new. It's like your uh, it's passion. Food, food related is my passion. Right. And I couldn't find the authentic Indonesian food in the area. In, right? in the area. Okay. Yeah, so that's why uh, oh, maybe I bring my old traditional culture mm -hmm. way far from uh, Indonesia to right, here. Right, this is pretty far away. Yeah. Like a little outside of San Francisco, you know, it's like yeah. almost like an so hour away. It's it's pretty challenging because we introduce a new culture, new spices to right. American uh, people. Right. Speaking with introduction, like, did you changing, like, did you tune it up a little bit, or are you oh. changing the recipe itself? Because it's always, I know, it's always a challenge. It's always. You know, we always have a little problem as far as right. should we go with the original one, which is sometimes too spicy. So, how you approach this matter? Oh, I never change. You never change. <laughs> they, they, have to adjust, yeah. they have to they adjust. Yeah. They have to adjust us. Adjust no, we adjust our pace. <laughs> hey, if they work for you, it works for yeah, you. Yeah, that's a lot of people coming from Indonesia straight from Bali uh -huh. to SFO, and then they are longing for Indonesian food. Mm -hmm. They come here from SFO to Indo Cafe. Right. Since since then, he bought a lot of uh, sambal trasi. Okay, yeah. Uh, yes, like three, three, three pounds. Spices. Yes, wow. three pounds sambal trasi. And then the from next Indonesia? Week, from here. Oh, ah, uh, okay. He loves Indonesian food. So nice. since then, he become our regular customer until today. That's great. Yeah. That's great. So tell me a little bit about um, your cuisine right now. Um, what kind of like Indonesian cuisine are you serving here? Is it more like uh, like fusion or more like a home style cooking? Home style traditional Indonesian 
when like when you see in Indonesia. Okay. It's like uh, rice combos, nasi campur, mm. nasi ramas, nasi padang. Okay. That's great. Nasi goreng Java. Nice, nice. Now you nasi make kuning. me starving. Now you make me starving. <laughs> yeah, you have the responsible for that. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. And then tell me a little bit about um, if there any achievement. Is there any like have you have your company or, or your restaurant featuring in any magazine or any um, award or something like that? The first uh, when we opened, we have a uh, metro. Okay. Magazine came here. Okay, uh, is it like a magazine in the area yes, or mostly in the area, based in in the area? In the Saratoga? Probably no, San Jose, the whole San Jose area. Okay, uh, and it's free. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody write about us. It's called Indo Post. Okay, nice. in 2011. Nice. When we first opened. Did and they s talking specifically one the dish? Is talk about nasi padang mm -hmm. croquettes is uh, like a Dutch gift mm -hmm. for uh, Indonesian because okay. it's it's kind of like a Dutch Indo heritage. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I, I had croquette many times. I just don't know yeah. the story behind it. Now you guys know. So apparently, there's something deal with Dutch back then, Dutch, right? Dutch, yeah, oh, that okay. Dutch uh, background, and until today, the sausage fruit, uh, sausage roll. Mm -hmm. Uh, croquettes, risoles, nasi goreng, those are their favorites. Nice. Uh, yeah, the Dutch favorites. Uh, satay. Right, right, the skewer. And speaking which about uh, the customer here, um, who's normally coming to your restaurant? Wow, we have uh, people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, Chinese, Indian, Dutch. I mean, people who live in the area, who live right? Live in the area, right. so or it's like a mixed yeah. customer. Mixed customer, yes. From American people also. There's mm -hmm. variety of people, Indonesian. Okay, yeah. and then if you have to pick the best seller or the most wanted dish that um, you know a lot of people coming down here for it, what do you have for the best seller? I bet it's a lot, right? Yeah, it's, we have uh, several. Okay, like. Uh, then normally we have nasi campur, nasi padang, mm -hmm. nasi goreng Java, nasi kuning. Okay. Um, Can you tell me a little bit the difference between the first and second one you said about the nasi, nasi campur, campur? has more vegetables around the rice. Mm -hmm. We always serve the rice as a centerpiece mm -hmm. in the plate. Okay. And uh, we surround it by different side dishes. Okay. And for nasi campur, we have probably seven or uh, eight items. Okay. From uh, chili balado, chili egg, okay. uh, young jeffrey curry. Okay, the good uh, one, right? Right. It's not. It's from Padang style, the spicy one. Mm, okay. And then uh, we, interesting. Yeah, we give the corn fritters. Okay. Uh, Rakadel, right? Corn fritters is Rakadel jagung. Here we go. Rakadel yeah. jagung, right? And then, <laughs> and then uh, we have uh, fried tofu. Mm -hmm. Did you put uh, any sauce? Achi. Okay. Uh, Did you put any sauce on it or just like uh, deep fried? No. Uh, just uh, fried uh, stuff Okay. It sounds nice. Mostly vegetarian. Yeah. And, and then, um, also. I bet that's like the best seller. If if you have to pick the best seller for the American itself, which is that um, actually? Like they the, like an American yeah. It's in in general, people like the nasi champur, nasi, nasi padang, yeah, right. nasi kuning, mm, those the yellow three, rice. and then nasi goreng, nice. Java. Yeah. Awesome. So and then if you have to pick one of the dish. And also, um, if you can uh, demonstrate to us how to make it, what would it be? I would today for today. I would mm -hmm. pick the nasi goreng java. Why? Uh, because uh, it's easy to stir fry. The rest of them it takes long process. Okay. Yeah, so it takes and a long process to prepare it. And uh, how was the? Uh, how about the selling? Is there people also a lot of order? Or did they, they, they order a lot of this fried rice too? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah that's our signature uh, dish. Yes. Yeah. Right, nice. It's a special from us uh, from Java, and we use a chili based paste. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit spicy, but not too spicy. Right. Because you know, like fried rice is, I think, everybody, everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere you go, they, they, Chinese, yes, they create their own, you know. <laughs> and then even in Indonesia, like from one island to the other yeah, island, we they have a nasi goreng their, Bali also. Yeah, spicy. nasi Jawa, Sundanese style, yeah. and everything. Yes. So you're gonna right. make in, uh, fried rice nasi in, goreng Jawa. in Javanese style. All right. Yes. You know, what, guys, as you can tell, I'm so excited about the cooking part, and um, I think. 
we should go in. Go into the kitchen. Uh, to the kitchen. Let's see how it goes up there. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Sure. Shall we? Thank you. Uh, you very welcome. Selamat datang di BRI Mobile. Transaksi mudah, cepat dan aman lewat dua pilihan cara bertransaksi: mobile banking BRI dan internet banking BRI. Untuk apapun transaksi anda, BRI Mobile bisa diakses di iPhone, BlackBerry dan Android. BRI Mobile. Life is life. Info lebih lanjut hubungi call BRI 14017. Alright guys, now we are in the kitchen of uh, Indo Cafe restaurant. Next to me, the chef will uh, introduce, will kind of show you uh, all the ingredients that we're going to use for today. Chef, here we go. Okay. We have uh, two different kind of chili. Mm -hmm. One is more spicier than the other, but we have to use both okay. to make it more balanced. Right, right. What right. kind of chili is that? This one is a regular uh, chili padi. Mm -hmm. And this one is a fresco chili. Okay. That gives the flavor. It has a sweet, sour, and spicy. Mm, nice. This is just strictly spicy. A strict spicy. Yeah. Want to have spicy? Go with this guy more, right? Yes. All right. And then we use shallots mm -hmm. instead of uh, onions right. and uh, garlic. Lovely. Yeah. And the main ingredient is the shrimp face. <laughs> it's a dark chocolate Indonesian style. <laughs> Would you like to taste a little bit? Uh, please go ahead. No, okay, okay. I'll let you do it later for us. Okay? Please do. And then we blend this. Uh -huh. um, we stir fry it and then this is the final product okay, that so we're going to use to make a fried rice. Okay. Nasi goreng jawa. And then we got what else? You show me about this and We that. have uh, green onions. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, shrimp. Okay. And two eggs. Alright. And uh, for garnish, we use uh, Indonesian fried chicken and uh, telur mata sapi. It's a uh, fried egg, sunny right. side up or uh, cooked egg. Yeah, you know, we, can, egg. we can say that. Yes, awesome. Let's do this. Okay, let's get started. Mm -hmm. Okay, first we uh, scramble the egg. Okay. So you like this pen better than walk, huh? Uh, this is for individual. It is easier. It's wider space. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we have the like, uh, stove. So it's like... We, yeah, we don't have a uh, gas here. Okay. So it's like environment friendly. Yeah, environment friendly. It's safe for everybody to use it. There's no open fire. Correct. So you decide to use shrimp and the chicken. Oh, you put the chicken maybe later, right? Yeah, the fried oh. chicken for the garlic. The Indonesian fried chicken, not just fried chicken. And then we add the green onions. Green onions, all right. Get more flavor. Uh, it's Stir fry. Yeah. So how long do you take normally uh, you you cook this dish? Probably five minutes. Uh, roughly, quick, right? yeah, very quick. That's why I choose to cook the Indonesian um, nasi goreng java, Indonesian fried rice. Fry the rice. So this is like a traditional yeah. recipe from your my grandmother uh, when I was small. I always like this fried rice. Nice, nice. So you're gonna keep the heritage from your keep the heritage and grandparents and, and so I can eat it too. Yeah, of course. This is the main ingredients for mm -hmm. uh, nasi goreng java. Alright. So if some customer they want to have spicy, basically just add it. We have to add the sambal rasi. Right. Yeah, we have uh, extra spicy, but this is for average. Average. It's good. Yeah, it's yeah. spicy enough. And is there any like special request? You know. Yeah. People some, in sometimes America. Sometimes hardly. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. what? Hardly. I think from Indian or Indonesian, mm -hmm. they like it more spicy. Okay. But and for the meat itself, if they like, you know, oh, like yeah. vegetarian 
or the first vegetarian? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the vegetarian, we just don't use the shrimp. But okay. Some of them, they're okay with the Majority of them, they're okay with the shrimp. Correct. Oh, yeah. I start smelling, you know. The, especially the shrimp paste. Shrimp paste, chili. You know, I don't yeah, know. All, all my audience sometimes they notice every time I go to the kitchen. Every time people are using the, the shrimp paste, yeah, it's it makes me choke. Yeah, yeah. the main ingredients. Yeah. So when I cook there, sauce is distributed evenly. Nice. And so you pretty much destroy it to spread all the rice yeah, with your own yeah, sure sauce. Yeah, make sure all the flavor yeah. the sauce is distributed evenly. Nice. Mmm. It looks pretty right there. Yeah. And then last but not least, we put the fried egg. The fried chicken, I'm going to get it from the fryer. Oh, so you use the fried chicken itself, right? Yes. Okay, I thought you just like kind of like shredded the chicken on top. Oh no, we it's a whole chicken. The whole Indonesian fried chicken, and then there's a shrimp, shrimp, yeah, shrimp yeah, crackers. Okay. And then last but not least, we have to use our favorite fried shallots. Wow, that's pretty. Okay. All right. Here we go. This is my favorite time. You know. Even all my friend who watches the show, like, I'm jealous, man. You eat a lot this day. But you know, I, I have to. I have to tell. Stay healthy. Stay healthy, of course, definitely. You know, I have to make sure that we you have, have energy. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, and we keep smiling. Of course. As you know, we try traveling around, you know, so make sure. Okay, I'm gonna get that little egg for sure. The chicken itself, a little shrimp on top. Really yeah, you know, I, I like hot food. Mmm. Oh, so actually, the the string face is pretty pro profound, you know. So you can yeah, tell you can the flavor. Mm. Yeah, it takes a note right away. And the shrimp, it's like the sourness also from the sauce and the chili. It's really good. And um, I'm gonna put, you can put it in a rice rice. Yeah, right? rice, shrimp, mm -hmm. and kuku. This is how it goes. Yeah. You know that. Yummy! Mmm! Mmm! Done? Not yet. It's not about, yet? Not yet. It's about to, but actually... <laughs> That's all <old. laughs> <laughs> So we would like to eat more though, but actually I have to go. And then I would like to say thank you thank very much. You thank you for so much your for time. Yeah. No, thank you for your time for My us. My pleasure. You know? yeah. And then uh, I wish you luck for your future and endeavors. And, thank you. Um, as you soon somehow, some way, some way in the East Coast. Maybe. East Coast, yes. Right. I would love to. Of course, yeah. you have to come. All right, yeah. thank you so much, guys. Thank you. All right. This is the land where we're growing. Made of thousands of islands. A land with dynamics of its own. From city areas to remote areas. Facing challenges together, and here we are. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm sorry to bothering your dinner time right now. So, what's your name? Let me start with that. Uh, my name is Cal. Cal and, and Nancy. Nancy, nice. Guys, tell me a little bit what you guys having over here. I'm having this delicious uh, Indonesian street food that's noodles, okay, and fried chicken pieces, and some boiled egg, and some shrimp. I think it's uh, it's really wonderful flavor. Excellent. Uh, do you like spiciness over there? Is that spiciness or like something that it's, you, you... It's flavorful. It's mm -hmm. not It's not super spicy. This okay. One, but it's but it's good flavor as well. I like spicy. Yeah. This one just happens to be full of flavor. Right. Not, not so hot. 
this is like a perfect balance, yeah, right? Yeah, it's nice balance. Yeah. What are you having over there, Eddie? Well, I'm a huge curry fan, so ah, I or, okay. ordered the curry, and it's delicious. I have several different kinds of curries, yeah. and then the rice cake, which I haven't had before. So that's really wow. a unique addition to that. And so this is something new for you, actually, it is the new. rice cake. And how do you like it so far? It's interesting. I like it. It's yeah. definitely got its own kind of flavor and texture, but it's really wonderful with curry. Yes, and it, is it kind of rich somehow with the curry in it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely has, adds that and with the curry and with the vegetables and with the meat. Awesome. So really Did you happen to try that little chips? Oh, on the side? that so was just, our corn yeah, fritter, which corn fritter. delicious as well. Oh, yeah, those flavorful. disappeared. Well. Yeah. Oh, the appetizer, right? Oh, right. okay, so okay. Those disappeared very quickly. Awesome. And yeah. what do you guys know about this place? So I, we heard about it through mm -hmm. our daughter. And okay. Our daughter works at an art institute up okay. over here, mm -hmm. and they feed all the artists. But actually, uh, the artists all love to come over here because they want nice, something nice. different and flavorful. Right, and that sort right. of thing. Something new. So we learned about it from our daughter. Nice. I took her here once, and right. then now bringing mom as well. Yeah, wow, that's so, excellent. Yeah, it was a great, it's a great little story. And then we happened to be back down here for a show tonight, oh. and so we just thought, well, we'll come in and have like a little, little meal before food. the show. Right, can go wrong with that. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. Are you guys from this area also? A little north of here, more yeah. closer to Oakland. Yeah, so okay. it's about okay. about 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Because like pretty much we're traveling from San Francisco, it takes like 45 minutes here. To get yeah. Here too. Yeah. Just yeah, the other uh, down the other side of the bay. All yeah. right. Excellent. And guys, I would like to say thank you very much for having a little chat with us. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Excellent. All right. All right. Alrighty guys, as you can tell, we had such a great time at Indo Cafe Restaurant. I want to talk about the food itself. Actually, it has something slightly different. They added the fresh shrimp on top of the shrimp paste and also they used the whole fresh chicken instead of the shredded chicken. The taste itself is really, really good. It's super duper fantastic. And now it's time for me to take off. Thank you so much for watching our show. Please like and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. You guys have a good day now.